I've always depended on the kindness of computer salesmen. Now I think I'm feeling a little sick. I thought you said she had a super mini computer. Yeah. This is it? Yeah. It's heavy, huh? Well, maybe we ought to I'll tell, her. tell her. You just set it down. Damn it. All right. I'll go out and get the peripherals. Yeah. Thanks, darling. Stella? Yes? Is that Stanley with my computer? Yes, Blanche. Honey, would you get a floppy for me? All right, Blanche. It's so good of Stanley to get my computer. He was glad to do it. Tell her about the TI Quiet. computer. All right, I'll see you tonight. Nintendo at 9. Look, honey, I'm going to take Blanche to aerobics tonight and into a show. It's your Nintendo night. Well, wait, wait. How about my dinner, huh? I'm not going to aerobics. I put a cold time. plate on ice for you. Oh, isn't that just dandy? Look, honey, I'm going to try and keep Blanche out until the party breaks up. Your hacker friends are too scuzzy. And look, say some of that food for your friends. My friends are too scuzzy, huh? You know Blanche is a high-strung programmer, and she's terribly upset. About what? Well, she's been through quite an ordeal. She lost Belle Reeve. What? You mean you mean that microprocessor plant out in the country? Mm -hmm. Well, how? I don't know. It was an, an SNL failure or something. Look, honey, when she comes out, say something nice about her computer. All right, all right, honey. And don't eat so much, Stanley. I hate fat. Your hacker friends are going to start calling you Moby Disc. Mm -hmm. And look, try to remember that she's not like us, honey. She doesn't think a seven-course meal is a six-pack and a donut. All right. I tried not to gloat too much about our TI-1500 in my letters, so... Admire a computer. Tell her it'll be wonderful. Oh, okay, it's honey. important to Blanche. It's her little weakness. Mm, all right, all right. I get the picture, all right? Let's just get back to where she dumps a microprocessor plant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, how about a readout on that subject? Look, honey, I think it's best we don't talk much about that till she's been reformatted. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's debug this deal. Sister Blanche ain't overloaded with data? You saw how out of sorts she was last night. Oh, yeah, she needs some reprogramming. Let's, let's see the lifetime warranty. I haven't seen any. What, she didn't give you no warranty or a printout or anything like that? Seems like it didn't have one. Well, what was it then? A dump out due to system error? What? She'll hear you. Well, I don't care if she hears me. Let's see the printout. Honey, there weren't any printouts. She didn't show me any printouts. I don't need printouts. All right, you ever heard of something called Neil Nelson's Business Benchmark, Stella? No, Stanley, I haven't heard of Neil Nelson. Uh, all right, let, let, let me enlighten you on a point or two, all right? Yes. All right, now, we got a thing what we call here Neil Nelson's Business Benchmark. And according to them, TI's 1500 beat out NCR, Unisys... HP and DEC for price performance. The 1500 is a real contender. Stella. My head is swimming. All right, all right, okay, okay. Don't worry about it, all right? We'll just wait till Blanche comes out and we'll see if she's acquainted with old Neil, all right? Oh, don't be so silly, Stanley. Well, it looks to me like your sister Blanche is getting swindled, baby. And when she gets swindled, you get swindled. And when you get swindled, I get swindled. I don't like to get swindled, Stella. Stanley, you've no idea how nerdy you sound suggesting that my sister or I or anyone in my family could perpetrate a swindle on anyone. Oh, come on now, come on. And where's the money if the company was sold? Not sold, lost. Lost. Come here. Come here, you. Stanley. Look at this. No wonder the business was lost. This ain't no TI here. Just look at this packing and peripherals here. You know, I bet this computer goes down so often, they call it the Titanic here. Oh, hush. And, and, and this, look at this. This is solid gold packing, I believe. Yeah. You know, and there's no lifetime parts warranty like on a TI here. And are these fur pieces supposed to be a substitute for, for a service or something? You know, TI has 125 service locations nationwide. You know, she could have bought she could have bought two 1500s for the price of this Fox fur right here. This is here. an old fur she bought with her first computer. You know, listen, I got a hacker friend who deals in this sort of merchandise. He's going to come in and make an appraisal of this computer Don't be right here. such an idiot, Stanley. And, and look at this. I bet they've got hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in this system right Right here and, and it's falling apart Stand there stuff look at this this is junk look at all this junk right here you know at least we own a ti you know you know my my friends not may not be so suave but we know our computers be still stanley look at all this stuff right here our 1500 is flexible and expandable up to 256 active users and look at this come here what is this it's what a motherboard she wore to a programmer's ball yeah well where's it go it don't work in there. Yeah, well, with our 1500, we can just use the same chassis. 
you know, and just we just add another motherboard and like a, a 68020 or a 68030, and we can just plug it in the same chassis on Look, ours. let's just leave her computer alone until she gets here. Well, I guess the Kowalskis and the Dubois have different ideas about computers. Well, you don't have to rub it in. I'm going outside. Go ahead. And you come on out with me. Don't stand here and gloat about your computer. Well, well, when are you giving me orders? Are you going to stay here and insult her computers? You bet your life I am. Well, Blanche, you want to compare this expensive super mini computer of yours with my TI 1500? Oh, my, Stanley, I wouldn't know how to compare your powerful something with my little old something.